So please give it up for Christine Mohorn. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. I feel like half my job has already been done tonight, which is fantastic. Uh, Y'all should be all ready to go to be poll watchers and election judges, right? Yeah. All right. So, uh, here's the thing. 2020 has been really rough on election integrity, as we know, as we've heard. But it started a long time ago. Our election code has never really been that great. It's a total mess. And I will tell you this, that we've had 25 years of Republican governors, and not a single one has put a Secretary of State in office that's been worth a darn. None of them have really put election integrity first. In fact, they've basically been ambassadors to Mexico. So we really need a Secretary of State who is good. Now, Governor Abbott tried to put one in place, and uh, that didn't work out so well. And, you know, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick failed to whip the votes in the Senate to get him confirmed. So we didn't get our one chance. So our executive branch failed us. Legislative branch failed us. Well, our legislative branch failed us a whole lot. We had a lot of fantastic bills that would have addressed this whole disability issue of who is and is not disabled for mail-in ballots. Never even saw a hearing. And that was Republicans in charge of that committee. Uh, one close by to here, uh, Stephanie Click was the chairwoman of that committee. <laughs> Um, when y'all are calling representatives and everything else, and don't wait, like we did, we thought, you know, hey, this is great. When we saw who was on the election committee, we were so excited. It was like three members of the Freedom Caucus. We had Stephanie Click, we were so excited, we thought we were going to get the best legislation. None of it went anywhere. Most of the bills didn't even get hearings. They gave really, I mean, just as many hearings to Democrat bills that would have destroyed our elections as they did Republican bills. And the good ones we were pushing never saw the light of day. And it was through all kinds of little shenanigans and, oh, I'm so sorry, we ran out of time. So it all ended. So what do we do as conservatives when our government fails us? Because let's face it, conservatives, we know our government's going to fail us. We step up when we do it. We take control. And you're lucky here in Denton County because Abbott won in Denton County, which means that all the presiding judges are Republicans. But that's only if those seats are filled. That's only if every polling location has a Republican to fill those seats. So as you heard earlier, we need to fill those seats. Judges, clerks, poll watchers. The other thing that you can do is as you're going out and you're block walking, how many people in this room have ever block walked? Okay, a lot of y'all. When you're coming to names, when you come to that door and there's like seven people in that house and five of them don't live there anymore, don't just cross them off your list. You can actually contest their voter registration. It's a really simple process. And if your uh, county chair doesn't know how to do it, I can absolutely help with that. It's a really simple, you just write out a little affidavit and sign it that that person doesn't live there anymore. And there's a whole process to remove them from the voter rolls. But that's something that you can do yourself. The other thing you can do is you can hold your elections administrator accountable. Now, uh, back in 2015, um, we discovered, so Direct Action Texas discovered one of the largest ballot harvesting operations in the city of Fort Worth. It was the largest ballot harvesting operation in Texas history, as far as we know. And the elections administrator, uh, who was overseeing the elections at that time in Tarrant County, was a man named Frank Phillips. He resigned because of the mismanagement of the elections department, and then he was hired here in Denton County. He is now your elections administrator. Now, I have, I will tell you, I've done spot checks on your county uh, a couple times since then, and I have not seen anything uh, that gives me, you know, that raises up huge red flags, but keep an eye out. So basically, I have a whole bunch of resources on my website, directactiontexas.com. We have guides, basically quick guides for poll watchers, election judges, clerks, uh, voters. So if you're voting in person or you're voting by mail, it breaks my heart 
every time someone calls me and they tell me that they went and they voted and something was wrong with their ballot and they didn't fix it right then and there and there's nothing I can do to help them. So we need to make sure that voters know what to do and who to call when there's a problem. And that's why I asked uh, Colonel Allen West, our chairman, if there's going to be a hotline for the Republican Party, and he said there will be. So that'll be another option because the first person you want to contact is your presiding judge. If you have a problem at the polling location, then you want to go to uh, the elections administrator, move up from there. Then you want to go to your county chair because there's a lot of things that only someone who lives in your county can do. And then after that, we do have a hotline on our website that you can call or email. Um, so that's all in those guides, but please, please tell everyone you know that if you're wanting to vote by mail, only do it if you absolutely have to. I don't want to deny anyone the vote because they can't make it to the polls. That is what that's for. Like they said, absentee voting. It is for people who absolutely can't go to the polls. You can go to the grocery store, you can vote in person. It is the safest and most secure way to vote. So. What I want you to take home with you tonight is, first of all, directactiontexas.com has what you need, all the guides and everything that you need, and secondly, if Denton County becomes the victim of election fraud, it's because Republicans failed to stop it. Because Republicans are in control and Republicans failed. So, I will hang around here for questions and I'm happy to uh, address anything later on. But that's all I have for now.